Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of January 15th to January 21st, 2024. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Cancer, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Let's see, spirit angels and guys, please show me what is the energy of cancer in regards to love for this week. Thank you, spirit. Let's get one shuffle. Okay. What's the energy of cancer in regards to love for this week? So we have the King of Wands, Six of Cups, Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords, and Magician is here. Interesting. Magician. Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, wow. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So, um, all right, so someone is in hot pursuit of you, for sure. Um, with the King of Pentacles to the Knight of Wands, um, this is your energy, um, Cancer, the King of Pentacles, male or female, doesn't matter the gender, but I do feel like with the Knight of, Pen Knight of Wands, someone is in hot pursuit of you. Someone's very determined to pursue you. And I don't know why they're being sneaky here with the Seven of Swords to the Ace of Swords. This feels sneaky, this feels shady, sketchy. Mm -hmm. Deceptive. I want to take a look at this. But this is someone who does have a, um, have a very strong soulmate connection with you, with the Six of Cups. They're very drawn to you. They feel very connected to you. They feel very like um, attracted to you. There's a lot of passion and desire here that they have for you. And they want to manifest a reunion here with you, with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. They want to manifest a reunion. They want to get together with you. It's interesting the way they're presenting themselves, though, um, because this is kind of like an energy of, you know, someone... Like someone who just wants to, um, how can I explain that? Someone who wants to introduce themselves into your life or back into your life, in, but, it, but they're doing it in a very subtle way. Because we do have the Seven of Swords, so they're doing it in a very, you know, quiet, subtle way, discreet They're not being honest with you. They're not being 100% honest with you. It's kind of like someone who just wants to like catch up with you or that's how they're presenting themselves as someone who just wants to catch up with you, someone who just wants to see how you're doing, you know, what's been going on with you, what's been going on in your life, you know, just very casual conversation. 
you immediately are suspecting something something is not right about this person you know you're already feeling you immediately you're feeling like this person has a secret agenda but yeah they are trying to manifest a reconnection here all right let's see what's going on here let me look at your energy here tell me about cancer uh, with the king of pentacles spirit tell me about tell me about the energy of the king of pentacles connected to cancer All right, so we have the Page of Cups. Whoa, interesting. More pages, huh? We also have the Ace of Pentacles. So you're you're checked out, basically. You're you're emotionally checked out. You're not reacting to this person. I'm not sure why you're not reacting. It's almost like you don't want to react to this person. You don't want you don't want them to see any emotion coming from you. I feel like you're very committed or you're very committed, you're very determined to not react to this person, to not show this person any emotion. But I do feel like there's feelings here, so let me see if I can, I have to keep digging here. It's, it's, it's like your energy doesn't want to come out. Like you're, you're, you're really hiding your energy, you know? It's like you really don't, you don't want this person to see any type of weakness or vulnerability in you. But let me see if I can get your, your feelings. Tell me about Cancer's feelings, Spirit. How does Cancer feel about this person that's showing up for them? What are Cancer's feelings? Oh, yeah. So we have the moon in your feelings. Why the moon? Or tell me more about the moon in Cancer's feelings. There's a lot of feelings, but it's, you know, it's, it's very turbulent. It's very conflicted, your feelings. Ooh, six of wands. Oh, I see. Hmm. The moon and the six of wands is your feelings. Okay. You see, this is why you're not wanting to show them any type of emotion. Um, you do have emotion with the moon card, but you just feel like this person didn't care about you. You feel like this person didn't care about you. Hmm. So you're determined to not care about them either. Yeah, I feel like you're determined to like treat them the way they treated you, basically. It's almost like you're returning the energy back. You're returning the favor. I'm not sure how they treated you, but I, de I definitely see that you're hurt. You're hurt and you're trying to hide that hurt, basically, you know, because you're trying to protect yourself. So you're trying to hide the pain that they, that this person caused you, the, the disappointment that this person caused you, the heart heartbreak or heartache that they caused you. You're trying to hide all of that. You don't want them to see it. Because then they'll abuse it. They'll abuse your feelings. Your feelings for them. They'll take advantage of it. 
they'll 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 use it in, for for their own benefit you know they'll use it against you they'll take your feelings and they'll use your feelings against you they'll make a weapon out of it against you So you're very determined to not let this person use your emotions um, as a weapon against you, basically. It's like you know. You know this person. You know how they are. You know how they operate. So you're giving them a lot of cold energy. A lot of detached, cold, unemotional energy. This person wants to try to crack you open. They don't they want emotion from you. They want to get emotion out of you. They do. And they're going to try to they're going to try to get it. They're going to use their okay, they they're going to use their um tricks or whatever it is. Their strategies to crack you open. All right, let me clarify this energy here. So I'm seeing a lot of like smooth talking, sweet talking, love bombing with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, you know. This is what they're going to try to um, use to to crack you open to get that emotion that they want out of you hmm. yeah they're gonna try to seduce you and woo you and tempt you and sweet talk you and love bomb you everything you can think of and they're gonna do it in a very kind of sneaky way with the seven of swords it's almost like manipulation basically I don't know why they're doing this. I'm not sure why, but we'll see. Tell me about the Seven of Swords to the Ace of Swords. Connected to this person's energy. I think this person is bitter that you haven't been giving them attention. Yeah, that you've been acting cold with them. They're bitter about that. They're upset about that. What's the Seven of Swords? This is Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Okay. I also feel like this person is juggling you with somebody else with the Two of Pentacles. This person has two options. Um, you're one of those options. I don't. I don't like this energy with the ten of cups. I don't like this. I feel like this person is looking for a long term relationship with the ten of cups, but they're looking for a long term relationship where they are the ones in control. They're the ones calling the shots. They're they're the ones commanding everything. Hmm. Anything else in regards to Cancer's energy here with the King of Pentacles? Ener Cancer's energy and feelings? For the week, Three of Cups to the Star. What do you mean the Star? Why the Star connected to Cancer? Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor. Mm. I see. And the Three of Swords. Okay. You know, Cancer, I do feel like you want this person to admit their their faults. 
you want this person to admit their mistakes. There's a part of you that wants the, that wants this. Sorry, there's a part of you that wants um, them to apologize to you. That doesn't mean that you're going to take them back. That doesn't mean that you're going to like reconcile with them. But I feel like there is a, a part of you that would be happy to receive an apology from them, a sincere apology. Because you do feel disrespected here. There's a part of you that feels very disrespected. And well, I also feel like there's a part of you that would like to reject this person. It's almost like you want to receive an apology from them. You want them to admit their mistakes and their faults and what they did to you or what they caused you to feel, the heartache, the pain that they caused in you. And you also want to be able to reject them. Because I do see you carrying resentment in your energy here. There is an energy of you feeling resentful and feeling upset. You know, rightfully so. But I do feel like you are upset here. I do feel like you are, deep down inside, you're angry and upset. You know, because you don't feel like you deserved any of this. So I do feel like there's an energy of, I want them to apologize and I also want to reject them. Almost like some of you would like the satisfaction of being able to reject them, of being able to like, you know, repay them with the same token that they gave to you, that they served you with. Kind of like an, an eye for an eye type of situation. Hmm. Okay, let's see their energy now. For the week, spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of this person Cancer is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Cancer for the week, please? What is this person's energy towards Cancer for the week, please? Let's get one shuffle. I already looked at their energy, but let's see what else comes up for them. Page of Cups again in their energy. Hermit card in their energy towards you and the Death card. Ooh, this person wants to find out. Yeah, Hermit and the Death card. This person wants to find out if there's still a chance for them to... Um, redeem themselves and return back to your life because with the death card it does look like you closed the door on this relationship or on this person you um, you turned your back to them you cut things off um, and they want to see if there is still a possibility of you um, taking them back and giving them another chance five of swords seven, seven of swords six of wands yikes Devil, yikes. What is up with this person? Look at this. Page of Wands to the Devil. I mean, man, this person is not happy with the way you've been avoiding them or ignoring them or keeping your distance from them. Yeah, they, they want to open things back up here. They want to open up a cycle here between the two of you again. Ace of Cups to the World card. They want to have a new beginning with you. I'm just not convinced that this person has good intentions. Five of Swords to the Seven of Swords. There's a lot of manipulative, deceptive energy coming from them. Um, this person is trying to weasel their way back into your life. That's what they're trying to do here. They're trying to strategically and meticulously um, weasel their way 
back into your life, reinsert themselves back into your life without raising any red flags. Okay. Yeah, you keep showing up. Like, this is what they don't like. You see, this is how you've been acting. Like, you've been acting unbothered with them. You've been acting like you're just focused on yourself, on your work, your career, your goals, and you're not paying them any mind. You're not giving them any attention. You're not showing any emotion, and it's, and it's driving them crazy with the devil card. Your absence, your indifference to them is driving them crazy and they're, they're strat strategizing a way to weasel their way back into your life, like I said. Okay, all right, I'm going to stop the reading here, Cancer, and I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. In the extended, I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions with you, most importantly. What actions will they be taking towards you moving forward? And what's the overall outcome going to be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.